In the chapter of the examination of the wise, it says, even if one is to die next day, today one must study. Though one may not become a sage in this life, knowledge is safely devoted for future lives. Just as rich, safely devoted can later be reclaimed. <coughs> so in Tibetan it says, Rigban Nangbar Chialab, Cedric Kebar Makurita, Kewa Chimar Jolwayi, Nola Rangi Lambada. It shows how important it is to study. Studying is very important. It opens the mind and it will help us what is to be abandoned and what is to be adopted. At the moment, we do many mistakes because we don't know what is right and what is wrong. Maybe we know some gross part of it, but we don't know more detailed part of what to do and what not to do. And because of this, we do many mistakes. And because of mistake, we experience more and more sufferings. So to overcome the sufferings, miseries, and problems, one way is to study. One of the important method is to study, to know. And in this verse it says, we should study with great diligence with great effort and we should not waste our time. We should not waste days or hours or minutes or even the moments. We should not stop studying. We should study and continue to study. In our generation, we also see there are many great masters, our great masters, although they are very learned, but they never stop studying. They still study, they still read books, contemplate, so they still study. So it means studying is very, very important. And by studying, we can knowledge, we can wisdom, we become more wise. And through this, we can accomplish great activities. We can benefit in a much greater way if we do these activities with the right intention. And if we have the knowledge, if we have the wisdom through the studies, and also if we have the right intention, then definitely we can do many great activities that can help all of us, that can help others also on self that can make world more peaceful, that can make everybody happy, that can give us happiness for all of us. So studying is very important. And in this verse, it clearly says, even One has a terminal ill, 
illnesses and one is going to die tomorrow, still one should not stop studying. Even one is time tomorrow, if you study today, by studying today, one may not become very learned just in one day or just in 24 hours. But one can gain more knowledge in our next life. All the studies that we do in this life not only can benefit this life, but also can benefit our next lives. So our knowledge when we die, it won't waste. Our knowledge is like putting in deposit. And when we gain the next life, or when we have the rebirth, at that time we can take back our knowledge that we have devoted in our past lives. For example, if someone asks our one's own precious and valuable things to keep, and then one goes to a different place or different country, and then when one comes back or when one returns, without any problems, one can take back one's own precious and valuable things that we have asked others to keep. We can get it back. So similarly, uh, by studying in this life, one can gain knowledge in this life, and also uh, it helps us to gain more knowledge in our next life. So studying and gaining knowledge in this life is like uh, asking others to keep the knowledge until our next life, until we have the next life. So when we have the next life, we can take back Take back in a sense that when we study in our next life, those who have the knowledge in the past life, they can study easier. They can do study more easily. And they can understand easier than others. So we can see some people, they study very hard and then they can gain knowledge. Some, they don't need to study very hard. Just by studying for a short time, they can understand and they can gain knowledge. So those who can gain knowledge easily means they have the propensity of studying in their past life. Because of their strong propensity of studying in their past lives, in this life it makes very easy for them to study. So it's like uh, getting back their own knowledge from past life to this life. So our knowledge will uh, not be wasted even though we can't use in this life. It doesn't mean that we, our knowledge are wasted because our knowledge is placed on our mind stream. And this mind stream will never end. And this mind stream is like the bridge between this life and next life. So through this bridge of mind stream, we can uh, have our knowledge back in next life through this bridge. So, study is important and gaining knowledge is important 
and we should not uh, be satisfied. We should always study, even when it's dying tomorrow, we should study, one should study, uh, and through this one can gain the benefits.